Hello, I'm Chris Hocking. This is Judy and this is Chris. I've created System 21, a mind-body system based on the Pilates technique of mental and physical conditioning. System 21 is different because we are concerned with quality, not quantity. In class, you'll probably never do more than 10 repetitions of an exercise. It is much more effective to concentrate on the quality and accuracy of each repetition than to mindlessly accumulate numbers. System 21 will improve your posture and your figure and will give you a strong and flexible body. It will also help you to relax. You'll feel good and you'll look good, not just when you're young, but well into old age. At the start of class, you must focus your mind. Forget about everything else, it's going to have to wait. Concentrate on your exercises. Your class should stimulate and liberate energy. If you work correctly and pay attention to the breathing patterns, you will find you have more energy at the end of this class than when you started. You should feel refreshed and invigorated, ready to fight your battles, climb your mountains, or whatever else your life demands. First things first, your posture or the way you stand and carry yourself. One of the undesirable effects of the aging process is the loss of good posture. Good posture is a positive contribution to good health and a good figure. If you want your best body shape, you must make the effort to sit, stand and walk correctly, all day, every day. To begin with, you might find correct standing difficult. These exercises will help you because they will help you straighten up. But please remember, an exercise class can only help you achieve body awareness, consequently help you rebalance muscle pull on the skeleton. It will contribute towards good posture. The rest is up to you in everyday life. The only real possession you will ever have is your body. Treat it with respect. Look after it, and from this there will spring a happy, wholesome philosophy of life. On the subject of body maintenance, do give your diet some consideration. As with exercise, balance is the key to health. Try to avoid toxins and drink plenty of natural mineral water, such as Bolvik, which has an important part to play in all health and vitality systems. Most of us are guilty of standing badly. Two common postural faults, the collapse into the lower back and the slump into the lower back, cause rapid deterioration of the youthful figure. After a few years of standing like this, Judy would have flabby buttocks, belly and thighs, pinched narrow shoulders and probably some lower back problems. Straighten up. Pull your stomach in and support your lower back. Thank you. And after a few years of standing like this, Chris would have rounded shoulders, a shallow chest, a paunch, lower back problems, and probably some neck and knee problems as well. Straighten up, lengthen your spine, and open your chest. Thank you. To stand well, stand on both feet, weight in the middle, Feet parallel and knees face forward over the feet. This area here, the top of the thigh, just under the buttock, should be pressed gently in. This action puts the pelvis in the correct position. It also does wonders for the shape of the leg. So we say press the side of the leg to the bone. Navel to spine. Elongate the lower back, tailbone moves down to the floor. Check the distance between the top of your hip and your last rib. Here Judy is correctly placed. 
If the distance is too great, she will be arching back. If too little, she will be slumping. Shoulders open, back broad, chest open. Shoulder blades flat across the back and down towards your waist. The sternum should be dropped down, but the chest lifted here, so that the ears are directly over the shoulders. The weight of the head should be carried over the spine. So press your head to the ceiling, your feet into the floor. This is pull-up, a most important concept. The healthy spine is S-shaped, but these curves must not become compressed. System 21 will keep your spine in good condition, elongated and flexible. Now we must look at breathing. If you are to release tension from your body, you must learn to breathe correctly. We breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Don't force the breathing. If you concentrate on the cleansing and calming out breath, your in-breath will come easily. The general rule is to exhale on effort and for stretch. To begin with, you'll find it difficult to synchronize movement with breathing. Just keep breathing. Whatever you do, don't hold your breath. Concentrate on that out breath. The more accurate your work, the more powerful these exercises become. To do them correctly is a real challenge, but worthwhile. So, to help you get the most out of my class, I'm going to take you through eight basic positions. Feet are important to overall health. They also need to be strong and flexible. Here is the pointed foot. The toes relax, but the ankle joint stretched and here the flexed foot. During the exercise that warm up the feet, take care to avoid the sickle. The sickle in and the sickle out. The ankle becomes crescent shaped. Keep the foot lined up with the rest of the leg. Fingers interwoven and thumbs gently down the back of the neck. Shoulders down. Breathe in and breathe out to stretch. Navel to spine and tailbone down. Do not tilt forward at the hip joint, letting the tailbone slip out of place. Returning to the correct position. And breathe in to recover. For side stretch, lift your ribs away from your hips for side stretching. A slumping side stretch is not good for the lower back. As you side stretch, extend the crown of your head further away from your hips. Shoulders down, ears over your shoulders. Weight centered between your legs. Don't drop the weight of your head forward off the spine. Now with the arm. Breathe in, lift the arm shoulder down. Breathe out, side stretch. Breathe in, return to center. Breathe out, take the arm down. Notice that when the arm is over the head, the fingertips are over the forehead. Do not force the arm back so the hand is behind the crown of the head. Elbow joint lifted back, and now a smooth curve as you take the side stretch. This is called the hook position. Feet and knees together, the back of your neck long, shoulders open, arms reaching, wrists flat on the floor. Extend the crown of your head away from your hips, but don't artificially flatten 
the curve of your lower back. Here, Judy is correctly placed. Her weight is placed evenly on the back of the pelvis. If she arches, she presses into the tailbone. If she tucks, she presses into the back of the waist. Tucking or arching is appropriate for certain exercises, but we are about to work with an exercise where the back must be kept firmly under control. Without arching, push the foot along the floor, press the side of the leg to the bone and stretch fully. This isn't good enough. Stretch the leg and flex the foot. Lift the leg as high as you can without tucking. Neck long, stomach flat. Tucking your back when you do this exercise is not going to help your standing position. Other side. Stretch the leg. Hips on the floor. Still in the hook position, breathe in, breathe out to curl. Middle back is on the floor, navel to spine, chest open. Shoulders down the back, arms broad, parallel reach. Watch what happens when the shoulders lift. The arms move closer, the chest pinches, not so good. Shoulders down the back, chest opens. And uncurl to the floor. This position is used for some very important exercises. Fingers overlapping and forehead on the fingers. Imagine a gentle hand pressing here, encouraging the joints to relax. The head shifts away from the torso as the joints drop down. A very common mistake with this exercise is this. Now, to tackle the lower back, pull your waist in, squeeze the backs of your legs together, and the tailbone shifts down, elongating the lower spine. So the body shifts from here to here. Lower back elongated, tailbone down. Upper back elongated, shoulders broad, and open. So to practice, take the position, normal breathing and hold for 10 counts. This type of exercise has the most wonderful effect on body shape, but it must be done seriously. Never speed the exercises up. Slow, careful, accurate work is what makes them so effective. Slide your shoulders down your back and place your hands directly under your shoulder joints. Elbows should be placed like this and not like this. Knees slightly apart and placed directly under your hip joints. Flat back reach, back of the neck long, navel to spine. The body is now boxed. Curling the spine, shoulders down the back, middle back lifts, chin to chest and tailbone tucked in. The reverse movement, arching the back, Shoulders down the back, navel to spine, chest open. Notice the head is held here and not here. This is putting too much pressure on too few joints. Keep your movements and your lines fluid. Here we have a fluid and mechanically sound curve throughout the length of the spine. This exercise is wonderful for keeping the joints of the back in good condition. If you wish to keep the aging process at bay, you must keep your joints mobile. Underuse of the body results in joint stiffness, and so it goes to seed. My last point, the press-up position. This is what it should look like, but most people are not strong enough to do it against the floor. So we take press-ups against the wall. This way we can control alignment and strain is reduced. Stand away from the wall. 
shoulder blades flat, firmly held in place across the back of the rib cage. As you press down, you must keep the whole of your body from crown of your head to ankle joint in a straight line. Do not let your shoulder blades wing out or squeeze together. Against the wall, your hands should be under your shoulder joints and your elbows to your side. If you are serious about wanting a good shape for your body, do not arch your back, do not stick your buttocks out, do not hunch your shoulders and do not thrust your chin forward. We are still using the movements to tone up arms, back and chest, but now without postural distortion setting in. Take care, be patient, befriend your body. Don't ignore its cries for help. If you're straining, make the movement smaller. Keep your placement and keep breathing. And now for class, your standing position. Good posture, please. We start with the feet, four on the right and four on the left. Heel up and a down. Now on the left, heel lifts. Stomach pulled to the spine, shoulders open. Back to the right. Left for one, two, three, four. Now your shoulders lift them up to the back. Relax down. Now reverse the movement. Go to the back, lifting up and down. Keep your ears over your chest. Arm slices, reach. To change and reach, we have eight. Keep your ribs in, tailbone in place. Hands together, diagonal reach. Hands together, six of these. Last one. Lift the arms, interweave the fingers. Place them at the base of your skull and breath out, stretch the spine. Breath in, standing up, open up the elbows. Breath out. Breath in, uncurl, two more to go. Breath out, stretch the spine. Prepare for arm circles. There are four this way. Lift the arms up and around. Now to reverse. Back, shoulders down. Keep the hand lined up with the arm. Ears over your shoulders. Press the hands together and lift, arms around, four of these. Press your feet into the floor, your head to the ceiling. Last one. 
Legs apart, side stretch. Breath into center, breath out. Breath in, and breath out. Breath in, now with the arm. Breath in, lift the arm. Breath out, reach. Again, breath in. Careful not to arch your back here. Feet together, balancing. Reach with the arms, shoulders down, wrists flat. Other side. Now four all together. Stretch the spine. Last one. Now lift your arms, interweave your fingers, stretch the spine, but this time you bend your knees. We are now ready for the floor exercises. We can mark them through together. Please take the hook position. First, tuck your back, pressing the back of your waist into the floor. Firmly pulling your stomach in, arch the back, pressing your tailbone into the floor. Now find straight. Lift the arms up and stretch one over your head and one to the floor by your hip. Breath in to change, breath out to reach. Once again, lift the arms up, then turn the palms out, put the back of your hands together, reach over your head, but keep your ribs down so your back doesn't over arch. Circle round, brushing the floor with your little fingers. The last exercise in this group, lift your arms, interweave your fingers, Place them underneath your head. Elbows on the floor if you can. Feet apart by 12 inches. Pull your stomach in, breathe out, and take your knees over to the right. Shoulder blades stay on the floor. Breath in, return to center. Breath out, reverse. Breath in, return to center, and make sure the back of the pelvis is evenly placed on the floor. Return to the hook position. Lift the arms up, and breath out to reach. Breath in to change. There are six together. doesn't over arch. Back of the neck long, throat relaxed. Lift the arms up, interweave the fingers, place them underneath your head. Feet slightly apart. Breath out. Breath in, center up.
place your pelvis evenly on the floor as you center. Keep your shoulder blades on the floor. Straight in with a cat stretch. Flat back reach, breath in to prepare, and breath out, curl the spine. Breath in, arch the back. There are six of these. Slide your shoulder blades down your back towards your waist. Flat back reach to finish. Sit back on your heels. Reach your arms out in front of you. Rest your forehead on the floor. Now slide forward, extend the back of your neck and rest your forehead on the floor again. Stretch for the upper back. Sit back on your heels and relax, stretching out your lower back. Mark with me, with your legs apart, sit up tall, breath in and then breath out, curl the spine, firmly pulling your stomach in. Breath in, Lengthen your spine, open your shoulders, and look straight ahead. Bend your knees, elbows out to the side, breath out, stretch the lower back. Breath in, lengthen your spine, look straight ahead. Reach with your arms as you breathe out, slowly roll down through the spine, joint by joint. Stretch the arms out over your head, and then bring them down again. Cross your right over your left. Right hand on your right knee. Breath out, bring the knees to your chest. Breath in, bring your foot back down to the floor. Don't let your back arch. Other side. Left hand on left knee. Pull your stomach in, breath out, take the stretch. Breath in, lower the foot. Last exercise, push out along the floor, flex the foot, lift the leg up, don't tuck your back. Point the foot and bend the knee. Back of the neck long, other side. Push out, side of the leg to the bone, lift the leg, point the foot, Come back to the hook position. Now curl sideways and return to the sitting position. Breath in to prepare. Breath out, curl the spine. Breath in, sit up, lengthen your back. There are four of these. Breath out to curl and stay there. Breath in to sit up. Bend your legs. Breath out, lengthen the lower back. Breath in, three more.
reach with your arms. Breath out, roll down through the spine, joint by joint. Don't pinch the chest. Take your arms over your head and then slice them back down again. Breath out, lift the knee up. Breath in, let it come down again. Back of the neck long, shoulders open. Don't jerk this movement, keep it smooth. Change to the other side. Feet together, push out your right leg, legs, lift up, point, and bend in. One to the left, side of the leg pressed to the bone, point the foot, and bend the knee. Now six fast ones, push out, lift, point, bend in. We are now ready for deep exercises for postural correction. We'll mark them through. Bring your knees up to your chest. Place your left hand behind your left thigh and your right hand underneath your head. Pull your stomach in. Breathe out to curl. Left elbow out to the side. Breathe in, uncurl. Mark this on the other side. Right elbow pulls out to the side. Right shoulder blade flat across your back. Shoulders down. Take your arms out into a straight line, keeping your knees together. Twist to the right. Left shoulder blade on the floor. Breath in, return to center. Breath out, twist to the left, and keep your right shoulder blade on the floor, wrists flat, knees together. Return to center. Put your feet on the floor, arms by your side, and stretch your legs out. Bring your right knee to your chest, and hug. One ankle circle to the right, and one ankle circle to the left. Fully stretch the left leg. Other side. One ankle circle to the left, and one to the right. Back of the neck long. Stretch out your spine. Elbows out to the side, but shoulders down. Return to your first side. The left hand goes on the right knee, curling forward. Reach with your right arm and your left leg. Breath in to change, breath out to extend your right leg, side of the leg pressed to the bone. Breath in to change, breath out to reach. Don't let your shoulders hunch up. Keep your stomach firmly pulled in. To finish, bring the knees up to the chest. Keep the curl, put the feet on the floor. Keep your stomach pulled in and uncurl. Now to relax. Let your arms relax. Put the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop open. Pull your stomach in so your lower back doesn't overarch. Return to the hook position, ready to start. The support.
supported curl. Bring your knees up, hands behind the head, hand behind the leg. Breath out, two curl. There are four of these on this side. Don't force your chin to your chest. Smooth curve in the neck. Now the other side. And breath out. Stretch your legs out, lengthen your back. Right knee to the chest, ankle circles, four to the right. Change, breath out to reach, pull the stomach in. Interchange, breath out to reach. Bring your knees up to your chest, feet on the floor, uncurl through the spine. And now relax. Soles of the feet together and the knees drop open. Pull your stomach in, don't let your lower back over up. Relax your hip joints, relax your shoulders. Mark these through with me, your preparatory stretch. Place your hands on the floor, flat back stretch, stomach in, tailbone in. The front of your thighs will stretch. Relax and lie on your stomach. Hands under your forehead. Lower back elongates, stomach in, tailbone down. Bend the knee and bring the foot down. Other side. Keep the backs of your legs squeezed together. Keep your shoulders relaxed, the back of your neck long. Stomach pulled in. Back bending. This will help you align the back of your neck. Forehead remains in contact with your hands. 
Sweep your arms around. Open your chest. Back bend again. But keep the same placement for the back of your neck. Don't thrust your chin out. Sit back on your heels. Stretch for the lower back. Slide forward. Stretch for the upper back and shoulder girdle. Turn your toes under. Stretch for the calf muscle. Roll forward to stretch the muscles underneath the feet. Roll back again. Feet flat. Straighten your legs and hang over your legs. Your legs should be at right angles to the floor. Stomach pulled in, neck relaxed. Bend your knees, hang your head, hang your arms and uncurl through the spine. Shoulders slide down towards your waist. The head is the last to lift. Return to the kneeling position to stretch the front of your thighs. Breath out, take the stretch. Stomach poured in, tailbone in place. Hold the stretch. And relax. Onto your stomach. Lengthen the lower back, tailbone down. Bend at the knee, bring the leg down. Once again. Two more. Last slow one. Six fast. Prepare for back bending. Separate the legs. Breath in to lift up. And coming down again. Shoulders relax down, breath in, lifting up, don't strain, and come back down, reach the arms out, sweep them round to your side, tailbone down, open the chest and lift, to come down, there are four of these, to come down, Number three. Place your hands and sit back on your heels to rest your lower back. Arms reach out in front of you. Forward to stretch your upper back. Pull your hips onto your heels, turn your toes under, stretch your calf muscle. Roll forward to stretch the muscles under your feet. Shoulders relaxed. Straighten your legs. Hang over your legs, legs at right angles to the floor. Bend your knees and uncurl through the spine. Open the chest and then lift the head. Go over to the wall. Prepare for press ups. Press against the wall and return to standing. There are six of these. Keep your body in a straight line, elbows to the side of your body. Chest open. Don't let the back arch. Keep the backs of your legs pressed together.
Return to center. Together we'll mark rolling down. Chin to the chest, rolling down through the spine. Bend the knees and straighten them. Uncurl with your legs slightly bent. Reach the arms over the head, shoulders down. Let's go. Six, seven, eight. Rolling down. Reach your right, reach left, and open the arms. Rolling down. right and left swing across and open three times all the way around other side Three more to go. Stomach pulled in. Press your head to the ceiling, your foot to the floor. Press. Tailbone in, stomach in. Lifting up, head center, circle again. There's four of these. Lift. Rolling down. Reaches one. Rolling. Open the arms and open the legs. Side stretching. Breath out. Other side. Rolling down. Four reaches one. Feet one. Higher. your standing leg into the floor. Sweep. Now your hips must face the front. And to finish, one back stretch with the legs straight. And the last one, you bend your knees, really stretch your spine this time. Go 
back to the wall. With your back flat on the floor, your bottom against the wall, rest your legs in the open position. If the stretch becomes too great, draw your legs together. Bend your knees and place your feet flat on the wall. When you're ready, open them up again. Let your feet relax. Let your inner thigh muscles stretch. To finish, bring your arms down to your side in a V. Bring your legs together. Stretch them out. Flex your feet. Push your heel away from your hips. Stretch the backs of your legs. Back of the neck relaxed, shoulders open. Curl sideways. And stretch out the calf muscles. Straighten the legs to stretch out the back of the legs. Uncurl through the spine to stretch out the lower back. Feet apart, side stretch, and center, other side. Let the neck relax, side stretch. Bend the knees, curl the spine, uncurl through center, other side. Bend the knees, curl the spine, relax your arms. You've finished your class, well done. Thank you.